Hello, I'm Rei Ueno from Tohok University, Japan. Today, I'm going to present our paper, Rejection Sampling Schemes for Extracting Uniform Distribution from Biased Paths. Physically unclonable functions, paths, are essential for constructing secure and trustable information systems nowadays. Paths are exploit process variations to generate hardware intrinsic numbers. And the paths are used as a hardware root of trust due to its physical unclonability and tamper evident features. Paths are classified into strong and weak paths. Strong paths, such as the arbiter path, has a large input space and the main application of strong path is entity authentication using challenge and response protocol. In contrast, weak path has a limited input space. Latch path is a typical example of a weak path. This figure shows an n-bit latch path. The input of this latch path is given by only set signal. And the latch path consists of n latches to generate an n-bit response. Such weak paths are mainly used for cryptographic key generation. In this talk, we focus on key generation based on weak paths. Maybe you know, path response usually includes noise for repeated observations. Path noise leads to inconsistency between enrolled and reconstructed cryptographic keys, which potentially contaminates security and reliability of path-based key generation system. Therefore, fuzzy extractor, FE, is commonly used in the path-based key generation to tolerate path noise by error correcting code, ECC. This figure shows a block diagram of FE with code offset. Left figure is for enrollment and right is for reconstruction. In enrollment, we generate random sheet S using a random number generator RNG and enroll cryptographic key using a key derivation function KDF. KDF is usually realized by cryptographic hash function such as KJAC or <clears throat> universal hash such as toplet hash. In addition, uh, we also generate helper data W uh, by XORing ECC encoded result of S and path response. In reconstruction, we first calculate the noisy ECC code word from uh, W and uh, noisy path response. And then we perform ECC decoding to reconstruct S and K. Here, helper data is stored in common non-volatile memory, NVM, on device with path. This indicates that attacker can observe helper data. Therefore, we should design key generation system such that the attacker has difficulty in predicting random seed and path response through observation of helper data. In other words, we should consider conditional entropy of random seed given helper data. The conditional entropy should be greater than sigma from realizing sigma bit key, key generation. If path response is con completely unpredictable for attacker, the conditional entropy is equal to length of random seed, and the sigma bit key generation is easily realized using sigma bit random seed. However, the conditional entropy significantly decreases by increase of path bias. The decrease of conditional entropy is called entropy leakage. Entropy leakage is sometimes uh, critical because of difficulty in fabricating a completely unbiased path. Intuitively, entropy leakage is uh, explained uh, using the wiretap channel model for FE presented in CHESS 2017. This figure shows uh, uh, the wiretap channel model for FE. Here, attacker receives helper data and the code offset with path response is considered as binary symmetric charge, where the error probability is given by path bias, as shown here. Therefore, if path bias is large, attacker obtains information of S through ECC decoding of W. Uh, in case of biased paths, we should render random seed longer than sigma to realize sigma bit key generation. This is called entropy buffer. 
This table shows path size is required for reliable 128 bit key generation with buffering entropy. Required path size rapidly grows with increase of path bias, especially when P sub 1 is greater than 0 0.58. If path bias is considerably large, it is difficult to realize key generation with practical path size. To solve the problem of bias, Debiasing schemes have been developed to extract unbiased bit string from biased path response. Motivation behind the debiasing is realizing key generation more efficiently than by following entropy. So far, efficiency of debiasing schemes has been evaluated by path size required for reliable 128 bit key generation, uh, like uh, shown in this figure. Uh, von Neumann collector VNC based debiasing is a pioneering scheme. In this scheme, uh, path response is divided into blocks consisting of two continuous bits. Then, VNC extracts debiased bit from a block with value of 1, 0, or 0, 1, like here, and blocks with value of 0, 0, and 1, 1 are discarded. Probability of value of uh, one and zero in extracted bits, uh, that is the device data V, uh, <clears throat> given by an identical value, and therefore extracted bit string is unbiased. BNC based deviasing uses additional helper data named deviasing data. Deviasing data indicates cell address of the discarded bits to reproduce V from noisy path response at reconstruction. Many debiasing schemes have been presented so far. Although some schemes to tolerate path bias problem were presented in around 2010, entropy loss in path-based key generation was analytically reported in 2014, and BNC-based fees was presented in just 2015 as an analytical and ex explicit solution for secure key generation from bias paths in 2015. <clears throat> in just 2016, tight bounds of mean entropy loss through helper data was shown. The result clarified the necessity of debiasing schemes for biased paths. After that, many debiasing schemes based on various approaches were presented to improve efficiency. Efficient debiasing the based FE reduces the path and NVM sizes for key generation. That reaction of hardware cost is highly demanded for wider application and deployment of path-based key generation. In this talk, we present a new debiasing scheme and its FE construction for more efficient path-based key generation. The proposed FE is named acceptance or rejection AR based FE. The proposed scheme extracts uniform distribution from bias of response based on principle of rejection sampling. Its efficiency is higher than conventional ones. The proposed FE can be implemented with solely an RNG and bit parallel logic operations at the enrollment, and no critical additional operation is required at the reconstruction. Since enrollment basically is not real time processing, and computational resources at reconstruction is sometimes rather severe, this is a preferable feature as an FE. In addition, the proposed FE can be applied to paths having biases depending on cell addresses, while all conventional schemes assumed a global bias. Moreover, our scheme can be extended to ternary path response based on empirical path noise model for more efficient path-based key generation. As well as previous studies, performance of proposed FE is evaluated through simulation of 128-bit key generation. As a result of simulation, we confirm the proposed FE achieves the smallest path and over NVM sizes for paths with various biases and bit error rates. And at most 55% and 72% smaller path and NVM sizes. 
、ダンコメンシャルメソース、リセプテリン。<笑> Before explaining the proposal scheme, I introduced two bias models of PARF. First one is global bias model, which is employed in previous studies on PARF based key generation and debiasing. Here, all bits in PARF response have an identical bias of P sub 1 and P sub 0. Another one presented in our paper is named server bias model or local bias model. Here, each bit in path response has a unique bias depending on its cell address. This figure shows overview of server bias model. In this figure, we have five paths with 10 bit response. In these paths, the zero cell has bias of 0.3. First cell has 0.2, third cell is 0.7, and so on. We suppose the expected value of bias, biases of all, all cells are equal to global bias,、uh, as shown here. Even if PAF has no global bias, it may have non negligible cell by the bias.、Uh, this figure Shows、uh, example of such path. More precisely, cells in left half tend to output many ones, whereas the right cells are biased to zero. Although the global bias is 0.5, mean entropy of such path is significantly worse than ER unbiased path. Many paths are known to have such serialized biases. For example, SRM paths may have byte wise and word wise bias depending on physical layout. And such biases can be explained through an instant of cell wide bias. Cell wide bias model can represent a wide range of biases found in practical paths and therefore can be considered as a generalization of path bias. I can briefly introduce rejection sampling. Maybe you know, rejection sampling is a method for deriving target distribution from proposal distribution. Here, target distribution means distribution actually needed, but not directly available. <clears throat> proposal distribution is easily available distribution.、Uh, this figure shows overview of rejection sampling. <clears throat> Here,、uh, target distribution is indicated by red. And the proposed distribution is in blue. We first obtain a sample A from a proposal distribution,、uh, like here. Then we generate a random number B from a, a uniform distribution between zero and the dash of proposal distribution at A,、uh, like this. <clears throat> If B is smaller than density of target distribution at A, Uh, then uh, we accept this sample. Otherwise, we reject it. Thus,、uh, act accepted samples follow the target distribution. In general, proposal distribution is frequently given by uniform distribution because it is easily available using an RNG. However, in the context of path devising, we consider uniform distribution as target distribution. And P sub 1 biased Bernoulli distribution as a proposal distribution because only such biased distribution is obtained from biased paths. Then I explain proposal scheme. The basic idea of proposal scheme is rather simple. We perform the rejection sampling in bitwise manner. Since the value of ISL is considered to follow P sub 1 biased Bernoulli distribution, We can obtain、uh, a P sub 1 bias of Bernoulli distribution as a proposal distribution and、uh, derive unbiased bit spring by uniform、uh, by a rejection sampling. More precisely, this figure shows value of ice, ice path cell as Bernoulli distribution. To render it uniform, Major value is discarded with appropriate probability, as shown like here. And、uh, 
、all minor values are retained in order to extract bit string as long as possible. Lightmost figure shows an example of extraction of device bit string by rejection sampling. Here,、uh, in this example,、uh, p sub 1 is greater than p sub 0, and 1 is the major value for all cells. Therefore, Some cells having a value of 1 are rejected to its probability of 0.57, and all their cells are retained.、Uh, we can easily confirm、uh, that extracted bit string uh, is uh, unbiased. <clears throat> This slide shows the AR based FE construction, which instantiates the proposed idea essentially. Major features of AR based FE are reproducible rejection sampling, RRS operation is applied to p a r r e s p o n s e at the enrollment, and accepted cell location, ACE operation is applied at the reconstruction. Although standard rejection sampling is not a reproducible procedure, it is not directly used for path based key generation. Therefore, RRS operation generates accepted cell location data, ACL data, D. Which indicates the location of retained or、uh, uh, rejected cells like VNC based FE.、Uh, then, a d e v i c e bit string is reproduced by referring to the ACL data in ACE operation at reconstruction. <clears throat> I explain、uh, how to implement RRS and ACE operations efficiently. First, we generate ACL data D, which determines cell acceptance and rejection. Initially, we generate a bit string H,、uh, where ice bit of H is given by 1 if the cell is biased to 1. And,、uh, otherwise, the ice cell of H is given by 0,、uh, the highlighted by blue and red. Uh, this bit string H is identical and used for all path cells,、uh, all paths in the system. <clears throat> Then we take bit parallel XOR of X and H as Y, like here.、Uh, separately,、uh, we generate random number R, where I's bit of R has a bias of corresponding to bias of、uh, I's path cell. Finally, we obtain ACL data at bit parallel OR of H and R, and also obtain the bias of bit string by accepting and rejecting p a s t e s t of X according to ACL data. We can prove this procedure correctly performs the rejection sampling with smallest rejection probability, and therefore, this, op this is optimal and easy to implement. On the other hand, Because ACL data is the input of ACL operation,、uh, sorry, ACE operation, it obtains the device bit spring by just referring to ACL data. Therefore, no longer is RNG nor other logical operation required at reconstruction.、Uh, this slide summarizes the major features of AR based FE. First, we proved、uh, there is no entropy leakage、uh, through pair of hel helper data and ACL data. This means sigma bit random seed simply realizes sigma bit key generation, and ACL data can be stored in common NBM as well as, well as helper data. <coughs> The AR based FE extracts a bit, device bit string with expected length of、uh, 2MP sub 0 from M bit path response. Uh, this is、uh, higher or comparable than conventional schemes.、Uh, <clears throat> since AR based FE extracts d e v i c e bit string in a stochastic manner, extracted bit string may be too short to perform enrollment. However, probability of such enrollment failure can be smaller than threshold by determining path size appropriately. Enrollment failure probability can be feasibly calculated based on inverse cumulative mass function of binomial distribution, as well as VNC based FEs. In contrast,、uh, reconstruction failure probability is not contaminated through RRS and ACE operations. 
Uh, this means ECC can be designed in the same way as conventional FE without devising. Finally, uh, computational overhead is given to only enrollment as RNG and bit parallel operations. Uh, file reconstruction requires no computational overhead. I can validate the effectiveness of AR based FE through performance evaluation. Uh, this, evaluation this evaluation follows uh, previous works. I simulated 128 bit key generation to evaluate path and NDM sizes for different biases and bit error rates. Our bias and bit error rates are given by ranges shown here. <coughs> I used the concatenate code with outer BCH code and inner repetition code. In addition, enrollment and reconstruction failure probabilities are determined such that they are smaller than one micro. I determined the path sizes and the corresponding NVM size uh, such that the path size is minimized under these conditions. I here compare AR based FE with these three uh, conventional methods, but see our paper for comparison with other methods because it was difficult to evaluate all methods in a unified manner. Uh, these figures show path size for 128-bit key generation using proposal and conventional FEs. Uh, horizontal axis is path bias, and vertical axis is path size. As you can see, AR-based FE indicated by red curve has the smallest path size for most biases. Uh, <clears throat> we confirm that AR-based FE achieves at most 55% smaller path size than conventional ones, and the NVM size is basically consistent with the path size. These results clearly show AR based FE can reduce hardware cost for implementing path based key generation system, and thus, we confirm the effectiveness of the proposed method. Let me summarize my talk. We present a new devising scheme and its FE construction for reducing hardware cost of the path based key generation system. Proposal scheme is based on principle of rejection sampling. <clears throat> Computational overhead is given to only enrollment, that is RNG and bit parallel operations, while reconstruction requires no computational overhead. In addition, a proposal scheme is the first debiasing scheme applicable to local biases or cellwise biases, depending on serial addresses, while uh, all conventional schemes cannot be ac ac applied to it. We evaluate the performance of the proposed FE through simulation of 128 bit key generation. The result shows that the proposed scheme can achieve smallest path and NVM size for most of the for various paths. Moreover, proposal scheme can be extended to ternary path response for improved efficiency. Uh, real world implementation and evaluation of proposed FE remain as future work. It would be important to extend the proposed FE to secure path reuse for wider range of applications. That's all. Thank you for your attention.